Shalom Aleichem. I'm Rabbi Daniel Sayani of the Shore Parkway Jewish Center in Brooklyn, and I'm a graduate of the Young Israel Rabbinic Training Program. The Sefer Or Gedal Yahu, written by, Rosh, by the Rosh Hashiva of Gedal Yeshur Zatzal, teaches that the Shabbos before every Chag contains within it the influence of the impending day. And Rosh Hashanah is no exception. The Sedra of Nitzavim is always laid on the Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah, when our minds and our thoughts and our actions are oriented towards tshuva, the great mitzvah, not only of Chodesh Elul, but also the great mitzvah of the Yisraelis Yimei Tshuva, the ten days which commence on Rosh Hashanah and which culminate on Yom Kippur. We read in our Parsha, the Pasuk V'Shavta Ad Hashem Elokecha, and you shall return to Hashem your God. And when the Torah says a few psukim later, Ki ha mitzvah hazos hasher nuchi mitzavcha chayom, lo nifleid chi mimcha velo rechokechi, for this mitzvah which I command you this day is not hidden from you, nor is it far away. From this pasuk, the Ramban learns that the Torah is referring to the mitzvah of tshuva. Tshuva is a path that necessitates making firm choices and often difficult decisions. The Svarnoi explains in Parsha Re'eh that the ultimate choice for a Yid, the ultimate choice for a Jew, is to choose between bracha and klolas, to choose between blessing and curse. And in making that choice, we hope for a real and profound change in our existence, in our behavior, and in the human condition in general. Our Parsha goes on to explain a very well-known but also a very cryptic phase. The parsha goes on to include the following pasuk: "Umal Hashem elokecha es levavcha v'es levav zarecha, lav es Hashem elokecha b'chol levavcha chol nafshecha leman chayecha." The Torah goes on to talk about the circumcision of our hearts, that the heart, that the lev should become circumcised, a meal for the heart, which the Ramban says is indicative of the process of tshuva. It's indicative of the need to remove the eight Sahara, the evil inclination towards sin, from our hearts and from our lives. The process of tshuva involves a return to an era long gone, teaches the Ramban. It involves a return to the pristine world, to the pristine condition of Gan Eden, to a time in which Hashem and humankind lived in perfect harmony. Teaches the Ramban, tshuva takes us back to the precise point of departure. It takes us back to the pre-sin realm of Gan Eden, a literal return to a state of perfection, to our perfect origins, where the schar, where the reward for our desire to return to Hashem is the removal of those factors which may take us away from Hashem. The Mishnah Brura explains the chashivas of this pasuk, of this idea, um, to the point where one of the explanations given um, for the Rosh Tevis, for the letters, the acronym for the month of Elul comes from our Pasuk. That Elul is a time of removal of the Eight Sahara and its influence. Elul is understood as a time when our hearts have a mila, literally. It's a season for returning to Hashem and for really returning to the true nature of ourselves and to our true origins. Shuvah means choosing life. It means peeling back our Yait Sahara. It means choosing Torah. Sefer Orgadayahu teaches that it means choosing a life of learning Torah, walking in its ways, doing mitzvahs. And so may we be remembered for life. May Hashem be Makabal, our Shuvah, and our Tfilus Ba'ahava. May God receive our repentance and our prayers and love. May you all have a Kasiva Vachasima Toiva. Thank you.